Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, my name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our oil and natural gas uh, technical analysis update. Wow, that this is some, some big moves coming out of this. I just saw some of these uh, for the first time, big moves. Uh, I guess Gareth Soloway, I don't know, maybe he's uh, still projecting what, like $70 a barrel oil? Um, I don't know, I've got the chart behind me. I'll give you my financial opinion. And obviously my opinion could be wrong, but um, this thing looks ultra bullish to me. I, I don't know where this $70 a barrel, you know, maybe we should draw some lines and start projecting stuff over completely disregard inventory levels because inventory levels is going to push this to, I don't know, two or $300 a barrel, perhaps maybe even this year. That's how wrong some of these people are, but I don't know. I do have an interest <clears throat> of, of, of this going up. Because I am incredibly heavily uh, loaded in natural gas and oil, there, there, I am. I will disclose that. But this is looking fantastic. Nice big move today, up five point three percent, breaking out of this little area, uh, looking good. Natural gas also breaking to eight dollars and four, eight point four two. That's that's a big move, guys. We were just at five seventy four about a month ago. Less than a month ago, a couple weeks ago. So big moves coming out of that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, about a month ago. So that's killing it. XOP, of course, is going to follow suit. We'll see if this continues higher. Uh, this is sitting on top of patterns. Big old bullish candlestick. Uh, this looks ultra bullish. The volume's kicking up. I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know how someone could be bearish on this. I just don't understand it. Uh, you can make up all these fictitious things. This is supply driven, not demand driven. A recession will happen and prices will still go up. That is my opinion. Supply driven. SM Energy on a monthly candlestick basis, putting in a bullish engulfing. And if we can close strong this month, this will be the launching candlestick that will push us towards $140 for this stock. Maybe even 150. Maybe we break out of this. Maybe we go to the multi hundreds. I don't necessarily know, but I can tell you we're not going to be anywhere near this this area. In in my opinion, <clears throat> uh, looking at the one year, uh, we're breaking back above all of this resistance. I thought that technical analysis was going to say we should be selling out of this. Why didn't I sell out of this? Because I look at inventory levels, I look at ratios, I look at market conditions, I look at interest rates, I look at all of those things. You have to tie it together, everyone. This isn't just look at a chart and then sell because you think, no, they're going to try to get you guys out of your shares. And I'm here to keep you in them. This is how you make lots of money. You don't sell when the market conditions and the ratios and the interest rates are going up. The Federal Reserve is raising interest rates. Why? If they're raising rates, they think that a recession's not coming. They are too far behind the curve. They know it. And if they're raising rates, we shouldn't be worried. We should be excited. We should be buying. Why? Because that's how money gets rotated. You worry when they stop raising rates and are going to lower rates because then they think that something bad is coming. That is when you worry. <clears throat> CDEV uh, moving higher, bouncing off its support. Uh, crew Energy being part of the crew. Uh, is very valuable because it's up 14% today. So crew energy doing very well. Big move today. Actually, the past two days have been quite um, earth shattering. CPE moving on up. This will move on up and break through these, these patterns here and probably go uh, to a land far, far away. Athabasca oil getting a little bit of a sell-off day today. I mean, yesterday was a monster day. This is called the bloody nose or bloody forehead, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a continuation pattern. Uh, recaf still looking okay, moving sideways again. That needs some some news to get that going. CPG that is sitting on top of a pattern, looking really good, moving on up. Northern oil and gas. No one would have guessed this one, right? No one would have guessed this. I'm just underhanding pitches to all of my members on the website. Uh, if you like oil, and we have a breakout, a retest, and we're starting to move higher. Uh, GTE moving sideways. It looks okay, guys. Don't be afraid. Uh, Tellurian moving sideways, sitting on top of its pattern, though. And it could pull back all the way. It could. 
you know what I do? You buy on this, you buy the retest, you hold on. If you get another bigger retest, you hold on and you buy again. That's my opinion. Padevco shooting higher. Uh, Oasis moving higher off its support line. Uh, CRK, they might have released some stuff. Maybe they didn't have the best uh, of, of earnings release. I didn't exactly read their earnings release, but this could, hopefully it comes back. If it does, I'm buying more. That's my opinion. SD moving higher, getting into the, almost the 52-week high. <clears throat> Our, uh, Ring Energy moving a little bit higher. Uh, Surge Energy moving higher. Uh, that's above its uh, downtrend line. Tamarack Valley Energy moving higher. We've got uh, Crescent Energy moving higher. Vermilion Energy moving higher. And Meg Energy killing it. Way to go, Meg. You, you, you. <laughs> oh, guys. Um, We've got OIH. This is going up quite dramatically, uh, almost as if somebody pushed this lower to buy some more shares called the banks or something or hedge funds, almost like it was done on purpose. And here we are heading higher again. Uh, rig heading higher. Uh, would I have been a buyer in all this? You know I would have. Uh, pump going sideways there. EXTN moving higher, looking good. Valeris moving all the way up 52-week highs. That's all-time highs after bankruptcy. Uh, MMA offshore, MMA offshore is looking good. Tidewater still moving higher. That looks good. Uh, then the guys, we could pull back a little bit. I mean, it, we can move up. We can pull back. It doesn't matter. We're above all these big, you know, patterns. This is a big pattern. We've moved on up. If we get a pullback, it doesn't matter. It's still good. Still good to move on up. KLXE moving on up. It's KLX Energy. Zooming on in, looking good down here. CHX, Champion X, moving on up. We're going to break through this pattern eventually. Just be patient. Cactus Energy, right at support. Nine, killing it, 15.71% up today. Uh, if you were part of the member uh, website membership, we were buying in this vicinity right in here when it was pulling back. And uh, you, you'd be up quite a bit. OII, way down there. Another one at support, looking good. Noble Energy, very up there. Uh, Helix Energy Solutions, yep, like it. Moving on up. CGG, YY, right at support or resistance. We've got to break through that resistance. Uh, Petrofac moving up again, still looking good. McCoy Global moving up, looking good down here in no man's land. Diamond Offshore moving up a little bit. Looks like it's trying to pop out the upside. We might get a little bit of a pullback, then probably a move on up. And I won't go through coal, uh, but coal's all up too, looking very good. Uh, overall, guys, it looks really good. Really, really good. I, I think oil could go massively higher. <laughs> it just um, They're trying everything they can to hold it down. They are doing absolutely everything. Uh, they're putting lockdowns in China. I don't think how legit that is. If you start looking at the data, no one really has this stuff. No one's dying from it. So I think that has something to do with it. And they're releasing strategic reserves worldwide. Oh, push it, push it real good. Exactly. Until it breaks. And this, it's going to be like gone because we're going to eat through deficit. We're going to have deficits of, of inventories when this strategic inventories, they just moved it into inventory. So they would hide, you know, hide how bad this is, the deficits. But when the deficits come, we're here going to see a rocket, a moonshot, uh, potentially at some point. I'm just sitting in these, I'm sitting in it and laughing. I'm laughing at all of the people that are kind of scared, and I'm not laughing at you because you're new. I'm laughing at like people on Twitter who are saying that this recession is going to kill demand. It's going to do this. It's going to do that. It's like, guys, this is all supply side driven. You're, the recession is going to come from oil. It's not going to come from something else. It's not like we have weakness in the economy. It's not like it's coming from the housing market that's crashing. D to understand where this is coming from is vitally important. I mean, there's a reason... When I saw that they weren't investing in 2020, 2021, go back and look at some of my old videos. It's kind of funny. Uh, I, I said, you know, they're not investing in oil and the demand's going to come back because we didn't really have a recession. We had a stoppage in the middle of an expansionary phase of real estate, and then we just are going to start it back up. That is going to increase the oil demand at the fastest pace that we've ever seen, and they're not investing in oil. I thought this was a ridiculous setup. So, of course, I piled into it and I'm just kind of. I'm still piling into some of these companies, the ones that are down that haven't made these huge gains. And if you want to know which ones those are, again, I'll put my plug in, uh, join the website on our platinum membership. You can see exactly what I'm, I'm doing and the companies I own and what I'm buying. I just posted one five, two on a bunch of oil companies and some other stuff.
And some of those, some of the, even the ones that are outside of the oil, they've gone up pretty well. They've done very well. So, um, you know, I ho hopefully you guys are, are holding on to your shares. Hopefully you're not getting too scared with this volatility and, and nothing's going to go straight up. We could, we could go, we could have a down day tomorrow. We could have a little bloody nose. We could have something. Don't be afraid guys. The, the, just look, watch inventory levels, watch the inventory levels, uh, join, join the website. Go to the question and answer session. Watch my previous question and answer sessions. I've been unwavering um, in terms of, of staying the course with the commodity bull market because of market conditions, because of the ratios, because of all those different things. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the clip. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.